Hello friends, welcome to Explore YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial video part 2 of mark sheet progress record preparation in Excel spreadsheet which we can keep safe and secure in our drive as well as we do not have to carry reference documents of our mark sheets. So let's start our video from here on. So friends, here we will calculate the grade system depending on the marks being scored. But for that we have to visit dashboard where we have created a percentage and grade criteria and we will use this criteria in our formula. So we put equal to sign over here and then we use a formula. So you can see here I have write the formula in a fast pace but I'll make you understand what happens. I started with a formula bracket open and G12 with the cells where English marks are being scored. And if those marks are being less than or equal to 32, put comma over here, start with double quotes, then the result should be E grade, close with double quotes and put comma over here. Then friends you have to copy this formula until here and paste it here like I have pasted it over here until now. Since the time, until the time you get A grade here. So for to get grade D. A G12 should be less than or equal to 49 to get grade C a G12 should get equal to or less than 69 similarly for B grade and A grade and then friends you have to make sure you have to put five extra brackets because you have used a formula over here one two three four times more and then press enter you will get the grade over here and then you have to drag the drag it down and you can see here now if I change the marks of math up to 65 and you can see the outcome result has changed and the grade has changed and if I put 21 over here the grade will remain E because it is up to 0 to 32 and if I put 33 over here marks being obtained then the grade has also changed so now we will calculate the total marks Use some formula over here. And we will drag it to the right side to calculate the marks code. And now we have to calculate the percentage. We have to use a formula again. I put equal to sign. Then I use a formula. So here you have to understand the formula. The formula says if bracket start F17. F17 is this cell where total marks of all the subject is being displayed comma bracket start G17. G17 is where the marks are being scored. We have to multiply and times it with 100 then divide it with again with F17 cell the total marks and then div bracket close again divide it with 100 why we have to divide this over here with 100 because if we don't apply this 100 here then we won't get the percentage sign put comma here double quotes open then double quotes close then close the bracket and hit enter you will get the percentage marks over here so we will calculate division rank now it will be calculated depending on this g18 percentage cell and therefore we will use over here equal to a formula and let me make you understand if if G18 means this 52% cell less than 33% comma double quotes then it display fail and double quotes comma now we have to start new formula again we put if G18 less than 50% this G18 is the percentage column cell then display pass again we used the formula over here friends make sure i have used this formula five six more times over here in this tab and you have to make sure if you are using it by doing manually by looking at this video then make sure do not forget these commas inverted commas double quotes and open close brackets if i hit enter over here i get third division now friends here depending on this we can give any grade over here and if you are calculating your CGPA, TGPA you got from your class teacher you can mention it over here student is having second term exam 
in the month of September then what we have to do is we have to select this we have to copy it and we have to give space of one column and then paste it over here the total marks are over here the mask code being over here the outcome is being displayed here and grade system over here similarly if you have third term as well for yourself or for your children just copy it give one space of column paste it with you now if student is having final exams then you can come down the sheet and then paste it over here and what you can do here right now is you can change the exam as final exam and in the month of March and again you can fill your data of yourself over here depending on the results you got and friends you just have to click on this row 5 then go to view go to free spins go to free spins now what happens if you get down your first three rows will not get affected and you can move your sheet up and down easily now friend if student is having one more subject over here like I have just prepared here for five subjects and you wanted to add one more subject here without affecting rest of the rows so what we will do we will select the whole subject until the grade do a right click go to insert and you can see here shift cell down so we will click on ok and you can see here rest of the rows over here on the right side are not get affected and we have got a space over here to add one subject here for instance you have got sports here and the sport is having its exam on 5th of March and student has got 55 marks then you can see here we can add the information easily in between the subjects and up to here we have prepared data for a student who is studying in class where only single subjects are being mentioned which do not have any kind of practical other than theory so therefore to prepare another sheet for where subjects are different in high classes student is getting promoted to next class and that class is higher class for instance we take over here seventh class and here student has got three subjects chemistry bio and physics each of the subject is having theory and practical then how we can prepare a data of mark sheet for them in a spreadsheet because as a parents you do not have to worry about to do these things manually by yourself you just need to fill the marks and rest of the things will be taken by access spreadsheet so let's move to seventh class these are the subjects being mentioned and three subjects are having practical and theory and I have making a color difference between them so you can easily understand and you can also see when you are giving practical as a student the marks are less and in theory the marks are higher so similarly I have done it for over here here as well but earlier I selected all this cell and then I go to condition formatting over there I went to new rule and then here I selected icon sets and then here I selected type here as well selected type and I just mentioned the information over here because over there each of the subject is having equal marks that is 100 but here the marks are being distributed so what I have done I have selected these two cells which are having total marks of 100 then I press control then I select the last subject physical education then I went to condition formatting over there you can go to manage rule and here I have mentioned this rule for these three subjects only because when I change my marks over here my outcome will depend on these marks and my grade will depend on these marks so therefore I have selected these three then I go to condition formatting over there new rule and you can go to format all cells then you can fill your information over here now let me show you the information for the 40 marks practical press control select this one 
select this one now we have selected three subjects those who are having practic practical total marks 40 then we go to condition formatting here i have prepared a rule and in manage rule we can see that if somebody is giving practical of 40 marks then if their marks are greater than equal to 17 then only the icon should display over here in 40 marks green and if it is greater than equal to 12 then yellow and if it is less than 12 then it should be red so let me show you example over here if i change here 16 because 17 is the passing marks you can see here the color is being displayed now to yellow if i just mention here 11 then the color is being changed similarly you can select 60 marks theory and then press enter control then click over here then click another subject so we have selected three subjects then go back to condition formatting go to manage rule because i have already mentioned here the rule and for theory if somebody is getting more than equal to 27 marks then green color icon if somebody is getting greater than or equal to 15 marks then the yellow icon and if blow 15 marks then right icon now friend this is very simple four marks obtained to get icon here accordingly so we have to change the format over here as well so you can see here if i select these two and the last one you can see the formula here is g19 right now g19 is this subject because this is the last subject i selected is greater than or equal to 33 if my marks out of 100 are 33 then i'm pass if my marks out of 100 are equal to 20 and in between 32 then i am going to be reappear similarly if you are getting marks depending on 40 marks practical and 60 marks practical you have to change your formula over here so what happens if we go to 40 marks only and i select on this h13 cell you can see i have mentioned the same rule which I was I was mentioned in the icon 17 is for pass 12 is for reappear and 12 is for less than 12 is for fail and if you go to 60 marks then you have to mention the rule over here out of 60 27 is going to get pass out of 60 15 or greater than or equal to 15 is getting reappear out of 50, 60 if somebody is getting below 15 marks then they will be getting failed similarly we have to make a changes for grade as well because grade will also depend on these marks but here you can see friends i have mentioned grade for chemistry only c why i didn't mention different grade for 40 marks practical or 60 marks theory reason being friends the total of these two subject is 100 and when these two marks get added then the person is getting 51 marks and depending on that if person is getting 51 over here you can see it will get c grade so that's what i have made changes over here in this grade system what i what i did g13 is the fail g13 cell where marks are 11 out of 40 and pass 40 out of 60 so i added two cells over here if g13 and g14 cells marks are being summed up total and if that total is less than 32 then person or student should get e grade similarly i follow the same formula over here until the a grade so friends i hope you understand friends, i have prepared this spreadsheet with lot of efforts especially for parents because they do not have to make any kind of inputs by themselves maybe due to lack of knowledge or maybe due to lack of time so they just come up over here in this spreadsheet they just fill up the marks by looking at the mark sheet of this children or themselves and they will get these results and these results automatically they do not have to worry about anything and another thing is if you have to add one more practical subject over then how you can do this you have to select this whole row of subject where practical theory is being mentioned then click right click go to insert and here you have to select the second option shift cell down then click ok you can see here if i have to add another subject here 
I just mentioned for instance sports then I will just copy this and I put it over here by pasting it now you can friends can change the date of exam change the setting but the formula will remain same but in case if you have any kind of difference in 40 marks practical and 60 marks theory depending on your state state or country rules and regulations you can change it over here I click here dashboard and now I let you know how you can come to this sheets from directly from your dashboards if you are going to first class then come back come come up on this first just click on this first and then do a right click go to hyperlink and here you have to click in the place in this document and click first and then click ok and then click anywhere and then go back to here and now you can click and you will come or end up on first class where all your data of first class marks are being represented so we go back again to dashboard from this dashboard button and this time we have seventh class so we come up on the seventh box we click on hyperlink we go to place in those in this document then I click on seventh and then click on ok click outside now go to seventh class and you just hit over here you end up on this class you are going to give exam for second term exam then just copy this like I have copied and give a space of one column and paste it over there and then change the exam second term and the exams are being held in September and similarly you just come up over here copy it and then paste it there this friends I hope you like this video please like share and subscribe explore YouTube channel because it takes a lot of efforts to prepare these kind of press sheets especially for parents and for needy ones so you can use it in your work in your job in your profession thank you for watching this video